Good early morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is a little foggy. Let me get a little white beer. <clears throat> I am uh, still waking up. I sound like a frog. A, because I didn't sleep well at all last night, because last night was the best hunt of my life. Hopefully you guys watched the video. Uh, it turned into a nightmare of me showing me not finding the deer. I need this I need this juice, this coffee juice in my veins so I can wake up. I was moving around a bunch. They didn't see me. I set up a new blind in a place. That, anyway, a uh, tragedy struck where I haven't been able to find the deer. We're going to attempt to do that today. I ended up pulling out of that area last night and not looking because it's on a it's on a fence line area bordering the neighbors and I did not want to jump that deer up if it was bedded down and push it over the fence uh, but I think that most likely it, it, it just went through the back strap and the deer is fine just the arrow was so clean that's a long backstory leading into today's video but what we are going to do is some duck hunting never duck hunted on this lease I, I love i love this place it's so awesome there's ponds out here that are spring fed so we got bass and bluegill and stuff like that in there uh they're pretty low right now but last year we just saw just tons and tons of ducks <clears throat> somebody didn't know i didn't even know the species they're just really cool migratory ducks so we're gonna get down there this morning and try to pond hop some of these ducks we don't have decoys we're just going out there and our our rain boots and we're gonna sit on the edge and see if we can uh, hop up some ducks and and take some out and then hopefully make a little duck stew I got I brought some onions and some, uh, some potatoes some other ingredients to make a little stew I'll be honest with you guys duck hunting is not really my thing I get way more charged up to do other types of hunting especially getting up so early and then you know, having to get wet in the water, and I've probably never had proper waders in my life. But anyway, it is pretty cool when you get a few down. They're beautiful birds, and uh, they taste all right, you know. They taste okay. So I, I like to put them in stews <clears throat> and soups and things like that where, uh, you know, you really can't screw it up. We're going to grab a couple other guys and attack these, these two ponds that are out here. <laughs> yeah, what would you put in there, like another... I probably got 20 shells, maybe 15. It's gonna be our, it's gonna be our attack strategy. We're just gonna just flank them, or just all go in on a frontal attack. You guys, you have a, we got a long, we got a sniper basically. Yeah. yeah. So, and, so and, you get the, and you got a short range. Very short. All right. Why don't we just all attack and see what happens? We'll just all go. Yeah, down this way. Got a duck down. Yep. I think it's for you. I think so. <laughs> Dude, they were literally like right in front of us. I know. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good little plan. Yeah. And just. Well, there uh, weren't nearly as many ducks though, right? I, no. Oh no. There's only two right there. I thought I saw. There's two. four. Okay. More. There's more. <laughs> ducks. Ducks, he says. This is the old paddle. Let's see, I got I got boots. I can probably get out there if I don't sink too much. Oh, it's a big boy there, yeah. You ever seen such a thing? Yeah. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That is awesome. That's pretty cool. That's a cool looking bird. Three dudes, about nine birds. We got one duck. Not bad. Not bad. That's pretty much right on track with my <laughs> record, usually. So we're going to head to another pond, see if we can get a couple more. Oh, a nice little stew, though. It's cool looking. All right, pond number two. I always see him on this far end. Yeah, that's definitely the only way to do it. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah, I see one swimming right now. There's a bunch. They, they, they already know something's up. It sounds like there's 30 of them. I think we do it just like last time. Space out about 20 yards. Just walk up there. Or do you, do you want to go down a little farther? All right, me and you will stay right here. Ton of birds. Oh my god. I had I didn't know. Did you get one, Gabe? I think I got one. Somebody shot one that went on the slow deep line. I just I could try to shoot one through the trees. I don't think I got anything. This is a good spot to sit. There's one. Here comes uh, the, the, the bird. Because they can't see you until they fly into this little bottleneck here. Dude, this is definitely yeah, doing this. This is the spot. That's a, that's a good drop off right there. That's a good uh, that's a good little contour for the fish. All right, let's go. <laughs> that was that was turkey chokers only right there. I did load it. I didn't. I guess I did. Uh, well. Oh. There you go. Uh, All right, bird located. Oh yeah, she drops off. Yeah. This is pretty much the dam. <laughs> All right, I got an idea. Hand me that little saw up there. Most important tool you can buy right. as a hunter. That I could fall. Nice, nice retrieval. Hang on. Uh -oh. There it is. We got it. Good. No, do you want to? Somebody go there, somebody go in that hole, somebody go in that hole. Got him! You got the other one. I think I did. Good shooting. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a fun retrieval here. A little green wing. A little teal buddy. A little, that's like a big quail. That's pretty, man. Nice shooting. All right, this stew is looking very meaty. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, we just came up to the house and uh, we got four birds right now. We got two little green wings. I believe these are gadwalls right here. We got a, a male and a female. We're gonna put them in a little stew, man. Um, but before we do that, I need to go do a final search for this buck. Haven't been down there since to look for this buck. Uh, it, I'm, there's a slight chance that I got top of the lung and I didn't want to bump the deer last night. So hopefully he bedded down and he's gone. But, uh, in all likelihood, I just backstrapped him and he's fine. That's, that's the, the most likely thing. Just looking at the arrow and I'll show you guys this morning since, uh, since we got good daylight last night, obviously it was, it was really dark. So this is the arrow right here. I haven't touched it. You see a little bit of blood right there, but shaft is clean. Broadheads, pretty daggum clean. It's just a little bit of fur. Not looking good. 
Obviously the brighter side of that is when you hit in that no man's land area, you know, the deer survive and go on, especially a, you know, a big mature deer. That at least helped me sleep a little, but still didn't sleep very good. But anyway, we're gonna go do a search, then we're gonna get a stew going. Kind of spread out and look. Go to the scene of the crime first, get a gander on it. I thought it was a deer standing there. It's a bush. And when you got to somewhere around here, this is where I saw blood. There's the blood right here. And then there's some on the other side. He like ran into this. You can see his fur right here. Jumped over. There's some blood right there. I, I went over here and I looked, but Didn't see any more blood. he so so after that he ran back behind me this way. And I was trying to see him. He was somewhere like maybe along the road. And then went that way. And that's where I haven't so it's like big circle around yeah. me. So Oh yeah, that's definitely blood. But that's kind of like a weird uh Maybe he cut maybe he cut uh I mean there's some unless that's the this leaf. No, no. that's blood, dude. I never saw that last night. Well, he cut, he went that way, and I think this blood is him cutting back. So I don't know. That's there's blood there. Yeah, that's blood. I mean, it's a decent little drip. Got some blood here. Way far away from where I shot him. It looks like he went over. It looks like he went to the neighbors. There's more blood right there. And that's like dripping down his side. That's on the exit wound side. Got a little bit more. God, it's a slow leak. Well, we uh, we did a search for about, I'm gonna say 400 yards. We're basically on the neighbors right now, and I don't wanna go any further, so we're gonna go back. He went so, so far that he might've just made it. <sighs> it sucks, guys, it sucks. Quite a transition of scenes, but this is Mr. Gabe Brace right here. The man Getting it done. in the overalls, debreasting the ducks right now. Um, we're gonna get the stew going. We're gonna have a powwow about the the deer situation. Um, here's here's what we got going. Simple pot of water. Got a little potato, a little onion, some bouillon cubes. It's gonna add that flavor in there. And we'll get them taters and onions soft. We'll do a little sear on the duck. Throw it in there. Have ducks too. These ducks are still flying, y'all. Looks like they're gonna go to that big pond. Dude, that's like 15, 16. Look at that. Look at they're cupping in. Get to work on these taters. Camp style, you just you just do it right on the table. Next to the deer antlers and all that. No one's too picky around here. You a, you a fan of duck? I like duck when it's in stuff, but I'm not a big fan of like the restaurant you buy it like a steak duck. Yeah, yeah, I'd much rather have some sort of red meat. But all these recipes you see of them, it's always like <laughs> wrap them in bacon, yep. and jalapenos, and cream cheese, everything to try to you know, mask it. Mask it. There's just a little teal are pretty tasty though, more like a dove. It's just yeah, it's a lot of work too for not much meat when you suck at shooting. Yeah. All right, add the onions in. Dallas. Dropping the cube. Let's go two cubes. Oh yeah, little duck stew there, boy. Let's 
skillet's getting a little sizzly, so we're gonna throw some breasts in. And it's actually starting to get colder, I think. Uh, there's a cold front north of us, and it's like pushing ducks down. We normally don't see them flying during the middle of the day, and it's just overcast. Cold front's coming in, great day to duck hunt. Let's get a little sear on these babies. Yeah, we're ready. May just try one like straight up, straight up breast and see how it feels. That's looking pretty tasty right there. Getting a little uh, getting a little bleed out. We got butter, we got some Cosmo SPG. I'm just thinking maybe maybe I need to like pour some of this we're full here on the stew. I'm thinking I might need to pour some of the juice out there and just do a pan saute with potatoes and onions. Keep it in that butter. I'm not sure. We're gonna try a taste of this just by itself, see how it is. Go from there. Let our taste buds lead the way. Feels always taste better when you're in the great outdoors too. Wild game meals, can't beat it y'all. Get like some sort of little burner you can keep in your truck. This right here is a dual burner. I've had this thing for years. They're basically bulletproof. And then that way, you know, a little catch and cook for fish or hey, you just, just got a deer and maybe you just want to try, like maybe do the tenderloins or something like that right there at camp and you don't have a, a kitchen or anything. This is it. Carry your outdoor kitchen with you. Doesn't take much. A taste of the wildlife of the sky. Um, we got some of our first pieces. I think I think this is a little teal uh, inner breast right here. Yeah. Give this give this baby a shot. It's a little nougat right here. First time, first time for some teal. Chewy or what's the deal? Yeah, that's good. No, it's not. I mean, I think I didn't get all the silver skin off, but I mean, it like rips apart. It's good. A little I tender. Would, uh, yeah, that's tender, man. All right, so that's the little teal. That's freaking awesome. The nugs are juicy and delish. These are awesome. I'm very pleased with that. We'll see what these uh, gad balls taste like. Stewing. Yeah, it looks delicious. Those potatoes are getting soft down there. So. I, so I butter seared here, I put a little bit of water back in the skillet, kind of get some of those butter and juices and extra spices, poured it back in here, and uh, honestly the duck was really good by itself, but in the stew with little extras, cold fronts coming in, so having a hot stew, the cold front, thank you, great outdoors, love ya, a little taste of the sky in here I'm gonna get me a, get me a little pour into my cup Whew, it's hot onion oh yeah oh yeah buddy this honestly looks like chicken noodle soup so they can see that that butter and oil in there those taters at top man on a good cold day Get your little hobo spoon, go to town. It tastes like chicken noodle soup, to be honest with you. Let's get a chunk. A chunk and a tater. Mm. Oh man, this puts Campbell's to shame. There is a, a tad bit of gaminess in the, the gadwall. But, mixed with the other flavors, it's really nice. These potatoes are nice and soft. Onions are cooked just right. Mm. I sometimes carry just onions and potatoes with me to deer camp just in case I get, you know, something I want to do a stew with, like a squirrel or a rabbit or do a deer, in this case duck, and it just worked out perfect. I'm going to enjoy this hearty stew, guys. I'm going to give it one more shot trying to look for my buck. It's not promising. It's probably just way, 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 way far away into another property I, you know, can't really get into. So, but we'll give it one more shot. I'll keep you guys updated and uh, 
cheers to a great day of duck hunting. Really one of my best weekends I've had in the outdoors ever. Greatest sit, fantastic duck hunting. Could probably do this all day. Ducks are still flying around. Great temps. It's just a good time to be in the great outdoors. That dares. Great time to be in the great outdoors. So thank you guys as always for following along. Make sure to get out there in the great outdoors. It's just it's good for the soul. So God bless you, God speed. See you guys on the next one. Give me a little duck sip here. <sighs> mm. Just wrapped up my third attempt trying to look for that deer. And uh, I got a couple hundred yards and then the neighbors, you know, the blood, it opens up into a field. It, it's hard to tell which direction he was going. But uh, I just kind of worked the path of least resistance and blood just kind of dried up. And then I ran into a box blind with an open window. Uh, I don't want to be hunted myself. So I shut it down. I think the official name of that stand is now going to be Heartbreak.